with bricks, with bricks, with bricks. Relax with bricks, with bricks. Relax. Alpha wax. Relax, will you? Hello, Alpha wax. Another sunny day uh, in the Lego shed. So, who have we got today for today's in trembling? Uh, ceremony, drum roll, please. It is, of course, his name is Rio Wendy, really likes Lego. I like Lego. It's uh, other things that rhyme with Lego, like Flego. I like Flego. I'm a, fl I'm a Flegoist. Uh, that don't get on, does it? <laughs> Good for you. Good for you. Um, right, are you ready to have a tremble? Yes, I would like um, to have my trembling now, please. Oh, yes, please. Oh, it's good grief. The fizziness. The fizziness of the trembling. i uh, very much in enjoying it. Um, uh, so anyway, Rio, uh, we love you here, of course. That goes as a good thing. You're not so bad yourself, thank you. Uh, <laughs> so off you go. It's your turn on the cloud. Um, we'll pop you over there by the new ble bleachers. The, the new bleachers, they're looking very smart. Very smart indeed. Thank you. Uh, so off you pop over to there. A uh, little tremble uh, for you to, to get you going. Uh, thank you. So there it is, Rare Reborn. We love him. We love him. We love him. We love him. Um... That's it. Okay, bag six. Here we go. Another person. Righty ho. Now, before we go any further, uh, Mel Jo, this is important. This is important. Um, I took apart the old uh, Mandalorian yesterday. Excuse me while I tether in with our new minifigure. Will you look at his trousers? Oh, hello. Will you look at those jazzy pockets? Ooh. Um, and uh, I, t I took apart the old Mandalorian uh, razor crest for you yesterday afternoon and then spent the best part of, oh, goodness knows how long. I mean, I, ooh, ooh, maybe I... Mm, maybe I prefer that 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 little face. Um, spent what can only be described as the best part of a torturous twenty minutes. Uh, trying that's better, isn't it? Uh, trying to um, oh that oh this scarf is not yours. Oh okay, sorry. Hang on, pulling his head off. Sorry, no one needs to see that. Um, strapping it into a uh, a box that I had found. So apologies for the shonkiness of the sellotape when it arrives. Uh, but what, but there was an incident prior to me putting it into the box. Uh, I'd put all the pieces into a, a Ziploc bag. And as I got up from the haunted table uh, with it, by the way, will you look at him? Isn't he marvellous? He's not finished yet either. Um, I thought the Ziploc bag at the top was was closed and it's it's as you can imagine it's a lot of pieces it was it was rammed and uh, it was not uh, shut and I had a grand what can only be described as a grand spillage and I went around sort of on my hands and knees trying to get it all up and, and I did have a slight anxiety that I had missed some pieces anyway I thought I'd got everything and then this is tremendous, and he's called Keith. He is tremendous. He's not finished yet either. Um, 
anyway, this morning on commencing uh, the knoll, I discovered to my intense horror that there were three pieces, and they were significant pieces, Meljo. They were significant pieces, had somehow managed to rattle themselves uh, into um, uh, into the Ninjago uh, city set. They, they had they'd been tossed within. Anyway, so I've rescued them, and you are getting those in a separate envelope. So there will be two two bits coming to you. One's in a in an envelope, and the other one is, and the rest is in a great big uh, box. So basically, don't panic. I think I've got everything. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Thank you. Thank you. Anyway, apologies for that, Mal Joe, because it was far from ideal. But anyway, I think I've fixed it. But uh, if, as you're building it, you discover that you haven't got a bit, that it's gone wrong, just let me know and I'll pop it in the post to you. But I do believe you have everything. I do believe you've got it all. Ooh, look at this, if you please. Ooh, now, we're making something quite quite elaborate here. Uh, we start with the Twitter eyes today. Uh, do John Perry! Um, a blinking love tiles! Yes, you blinking love tiles. Um, there's, there can be no doubt of your love for the tile, John Parry. I think when push comes to shove, nobody beats you on that score, actually. Well, maybe me. Uh, uh, I've, I've, got a, I've got a statement to make. Here we go. Here we go. I have listened to, to the fans. Yes. And decided to withdraw from the Etherwick Super League. Uh, ap apologies for any hurt caused. <laughs> <sighs> yes, the Afawax Super League. Heebie jeebies. Heebie jeebies, the Afawax Super League. Super League. Uh, Mr. Graham Triggs, the VAR, the official referee of Afawax uh, with Bricks is too late, John. You must still be punished for signing up in the first place. Oh, I don't think that's an adjudication. I don't think that's an adjudication. I think it's a thank you. Uh, Tatty Forrester says uh, there are some other Star Wars Lego ships which are hardly great at all. E.g. <gasps> what? Oh boy. Oh, thank you for pointing that out, Tatty. We thought you were some gonna No, I've done it again. Oh no, I've done it again. Uh, please don't tell me it was me. Yet again. That you got my son confused with it. Please, Anna, don't tell me it is true. Oh, little Sue, I'm really sorry. Little Sue, it has happened again. There's, there's something weird going on here. Well, but can you please sing the Papa song? Little Sue, and she's called Little Sue. She's little, and she's called Sue. She's Little Sue. Yes, it is me, Little Sue. I mean, I, 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 I'm, I'm shook, Emma. I am, I am shook. This is not the first time this has occurred, and it seems to keep on happening that you are confusing me with with Gillian B. Oh, we, who, for the avoidance of doubt, we thought she came from Canada. And then she, and then we thought she didn't come from Canada, and then it turned out that that she did come from Canada. Now, now we named Kennedy. These are the facts. Whereas I am Little Sue, who is the proprietor of the Poisson Poisson Cafe, uh, and uh, with the pink, with the pink blue jumper and and the cape of brilliance. Um, we are very different people, of course, and I cannot understand why you keep getting us mixed up. I don't know what it is, little Sue. It's it's something. It must be something about the songs that I sort of maybe it starts on the same note. I I don't know. Anyway, look, look. Keith's holding this. Yes, that's Sue. That's super. Keith, Keith is pretty super, isn't he? Yes. Uh, be careful he doesn't trip over this. Yeah, so I think we should be careful he doesn't trip over this. I think we might have to put him on set. Yes, I think put him on set, Emma. And then 
we can just stare at them. Okay, thank you. Please come. Go and please say what I came to say. Yes. Uh, I just wanted to say to Daddy Forrester, who showed, who showed us the the the, the yellow and the white Star Wars. Uh, that I just want to say, ooh, ooh, I I like that. Press the button. Okay. Go, jump, Harry. By the way, look at this. I mean, we've had that before. It's a mop head, but I don't think we've ever had it in green. So let's give it a switch swoo. Let's give it a switch swoo because I don't think we've ever had it in green. But look at this, making two of those. They're nice, aren't they? So, so are we okay uh, with ignoring Lego instructions there, were we? Just moving pieces because we think they look better elsewhere. Uh, he, he's cross. Uh, we have incurred the wrath. Um, we've incurred the wrath of the parry. Uh, always a little bit dangerous, um, but we have incurred his wrath. I guess it's nothing. Hang on, hang on, hang on, oh, hang on. I've missed. A bit. I've missed. Uh, have I missed something here? No, I haven't. I guess it's nothing that can be done about it. I mean, no one with with any authority uh, that, that could write this this egregious act. Well. Mm, do you know what, Mr. Parry? I, I'm going to I'm going to say that, that that is a call for an adjudication. I think that's fair enough. I think that's fair enough. Uh, so, uh, request for an adjudication, please, uh, from Mr. John Parry, Mr. John Parry uh, uh, to Mr. Graham Triggs, Mr. Graham Triggs, the VAR, the official referee of Relax with Bricks. Um, am I uh, Is it? Am I, am I allowed to have, have moved that? I mean, it's going to take some moving back again. Well, it wouldn't take that much moving back again. It would be a little inconvenient, but I think we'd survive. Um, adjudication, please, Mr. Graham. Triggs. Thank you. Oh, this, is, this is surprisingly tricky. Ooh, this is surprisingly tricky. Why is it? Why is it surprisingly tricky? Why? Oh, there we are. I've got it on. I've got it on. Thank you. This is a lovely little snowman. Um, Professor Lego, uh, assuming the uh, 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 space sets don't arrive in time, what would we like Mother Goose uh, to build next? Vote now in last place with a terrible naught percent of the vows <laughs> make your feelings oh no oh no make your feelings known people make your feelings known that's a very big arm and it, that's a very big arm and that is literally as far as it goes oh, I, th I think you've got this how come that one goes all the way in no it should get oh what on earth has happened here no that should go all the way in Oh, there we go. That's better. Hang on, hang on, please. The the snowman has been decapitated, and we need to deal with that immediately. Hang on. Hang on, please. Hang on, please. Hang on, please. This really doesn't want to sit on here nicely. Oh, for goodness sake. For goodness sake. Let me just see if it... Oh, it goes on perfectly happily there. It's this, but we do need this. Heavens, heavens actual above. Oh, this is painful. Right, it's on, it's on. It might not be on for long, but it's on. It's on, so we'll stick it down somewhere quickly. There, thank you. Don't move it, nobody touch it. Nobody breathe on it, nothing. In second place with 36% of the vote is Tim Goff's surprise. But in first place, with 64% of the vote, it's a super a surprise. Do you know what? I know, I know I've been keeping it. I know I've been holding it back for when Perks finally returns to the Lego Shed. And to be fair, if it hadn't been for Pandemic 
uh, we had been planning that it would have been vastly sooner uh, than now. But with my other other birthday breathing down our neck now, given it was her birthday present to me, um, I think it's only appropriate that we that we finally knuckle down to do the Sue Perkins. When, when Sue Perkins arrives, she can just come in and do a, a, a build of whatever we're building that day. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. All right. Okay. Uh, so the next build is going to be Sue Perkins' surprise. Ooh, I wonder what it is. Ooh, ooh, I tell you what, I'm going to give you all, you can all have a guess. You can all have a guess. If anybody guesses it correctly. I tell you what, if anyone guesses it correctly, I will give you that, all right? If anyone guesses it correctly, you get that. You get one guess each, one guess. You can't have multiple guesses. But if anyone guesses correctly, uh, you win it. Uh, Tim Goff says, oh, 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 I won. Oh, Tim Goff. Well, Tim Goff will do your one after we've done Sue Perkins Surprise. Uh, Mel Jo, uh, I actually screamed when I heard that I'd won. Uh, thank you so much. I cannot believe that I've won the Razor Crest. The kids are going to be absolutely over the moon to be getting this at Lego Club. Thanks, Mother Goose. Uh, hashtag kids do not mind grey tiles. Hashtag chuffed a bit. Yes, Mel Jo, I, I will reiterate again, there are three pieces coming to you in a separate envelope, uh, which I believe, um, and I do think, I do, I genuinely do think now I have found all the bits that scattered around the Lego shed. Um, but do let me know if anything is missing. But I don't think anything is now. Oh, Joel Perry is a, a worthy winner. I'm glad it's going to a good home. Yes, uh, me too. Actually, tell us more about your Lego club, uh, Mel Jo. I'm interested to know, please. Let, let, let's have some facts and some figures and, and what you do there. I'm, I'm interested. I'm interested. Um, little Sue. Amma. Yes. Uh, I want to talk about Shirley's top. Do you want to show it everybody yet again, please? Yes. Yes. Hello, hello Shirley. Yes, hello, little Sue. Uh, Emma, I would like to describe this top as a waistcoat, actually. I think it looks lovely with the, with the flower details. Don't, don't you? Well, goodness me, will you look at that? Yes, it's lovely. Uh, I'm quite concerned about about the shovel, though, Emma. Uh, this, this might be a bad business. Hmm. What do you think the, the shovel's for? Well, let's hope it's for snow, Emma, and not for not for things that turn yellow in the snow or even worse, brown. Press the button. Yes. Let's not let's not dwell on that. Let's not dwell on it. No, no, please, please, no, let's not, let's not dwell on it, Emma. No, let's not dwell on it. Professor Lego, with today's Bricks and Pieces, we take a look back at the, oh, hang on. Ooh, wait, Professor Lego, we, we're getting something out of the special packet. This is exciting. Look, 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 look who's there. Wave. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Yay, it's Georgie. We had an incident uh, in the garden this morning. Hang on, Professor Lego, I, I, I will come to you. I'm just, just picking out. Look, look at these, look at these special bits and bobs. Look at these. Ooh, look at those crumbs. I mean, we've never had any of those before, so that gets us a bit smooth, doesn't it? But I think the piece we are looking for is this piece. This piece, look, that's a definite. Never had that. Let's get that in. Let's get that in. Also, I'm going to turn off the heater. Excuse me, I'll get to you in a minute. Professor Lego, hang on. Hang on, please, Professor. Hang on, please, I'm turning off the heater. Turning off the heater. Turning off the heater. Off the heater. Right then. Um, back to Professor Lego. Ah, 
tonight's box of pieces, we take a look back at the final pieces of the Razor Crest. Congratulations to Mel jo, which will bring us up to date with all the recent sweat swoos. Sing me in, Mother Girls. A bricks and pieces, bricks a pieces, a bricks a pieces, a bricks a pieces, a bricks a pieces, bricks a pieces, a fada da da. A fada da, a fada da 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 da. We start with the Razor Crest edition with Mother Goose's remarks on Will Omnium 56 times 22 with Spokes. She was correct. She had seen this piece before and it was in the set that shall not be named. I said, shall not be named, John. I love Tars Perry. Shall not be named. It was, of course, that great big bitch. Remember it? Yeah. Yeah, we remember it. We remember it. But hang on a minute because we've got another brand new bit. Look at this. Look at that. Blimey O'Reilly, will you look at it? That's going right there. Gosh, this is amazing. It looks like, like fireworks going off. With the infamous bill behind us, let's turn our attention to the piece that was given a sweet swoop. Roof tile one by four, inf, deg, 45, with cutout or slope, inverted, 45, four times one, double, on brick length. With names like those, it's just as well I post images. It was that one, remember? I'm afraid you have seen this before, Mother Girl, so it isn't sweet swill worthy on this occasion. Hmm. Uh, you most recently uh, saw this place in the set we discussed just today, or yesterday, for you. That's right, it made an appearance in the Iron Man helmet build over on Patreon. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that reminds me, I haven't, I haven't fixed it. I haven't fixed it yet, Prof. I haven't fixed it. I will fix it, but I haven't fixed it yet. Hang on. Thank you. Look, this is looking good, isn't it? This is looking rather lovely. Thank you. Where's that going? It's going there. Oh, that's delightful. That's delightful. Uh, prior to that, the piece popped up in the Junkrat and Roadhog uh, rebuild, also over on Patreon, which you built back in March. It's also worth noting it appeared in black in the Elf Club house, November 2020, Darkstone Grey in the Haunted House, October 2020, and back to black again for Diagon Alley, September 2020. It's kind of an unassuming piece, a work apart to help form the structure, but doesn't have any of the flash. I said flash. Of a new printed tile or unusual shape. I said unusual shape. That's probably why you hadn't realised it had already come in seven sets that you've built, you great big cloth haired idiot. Excuse me? I didn't say that. But, Prof, you've only listed five. I hear literally no one ask. Well, we didn't see Mother Goose build it. She did tell us she built two of the Hogwarts moment sets in a row time. And her Bology class used one too, also in dark strong grey. As for the last, well, it's an old favourite. It's the Blue Fist herself putting the Excelsior into the Rexelsior. That's right, it's the set that shall not be named. I said, shall not be named, John. I love Tales Perry. Shall not be named. This concludes today's Brooks and Pistols in which I have no doubt John Parry has repeatedly posted the name the Rexelsior. To aimlessly frustrate poor Mother Goose. Sing me out, Mother Goose. A bricks and pieces, bricks, a pieces, a bricks, a pieces, a bricks, a pieces, a bricks, a pieces, bricks, a pieces, a fa da 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 a fa da da a fa da 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 Okay. Okay. Thank you, Prof. Thank you, Prof. Gosh, it's, it's a... Why won't that go in there? Uh, it's interesting, isn't it, when you, you, you look at a piece and you think, oh, have I seen that before? And then you've seen it seven times before. But you're right, there are very unassuming pieces uh, that, that, that live in our uh, Lego universe. Bits that sort of go by the here and the there. Oh, this is nice. This is lovely. Where's that? Oh, look, that's going there. Oh, this is suddenly turning into a little lovely set. This is what I mean about this is clearly not a set. 
that it is designed to be done one bag a day uh, in a filming. But it, look, it's all coming together now, which is which which makes me very, very happy. Uh, Eric Oswald, Eric. He's got a duck of fast, yo. They both like watching Lego. And they really like news girls. So his name is Eric. F -f -f -m uh, he says, isn't that Tweedle Twins minifig Moaning Myrtle uh, from Harry uh, Potter? Do you remember right? yesterday I asked about, uh, about, 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 about this young lady, the but bogey, old bogey legs, old bogey legs. Um, and uh, uh, Professor Lux says, oh, nice try, but no cigar for you on this occasion. Here's the Moaning Myrtle minifig from the Harry Potter 2 uh, CMF series. So, so that's Moaning Myrtle. She's very much got legs. She's not made of bogeys. Um, the Tweedle Twins minifig is actually the Banshee from the CMF series 14 range, although she's now bald, possibly from the stress given her facial expression. I'm surprised they didn't have her screaming, given that it's a defining uh, feature of a banshee, is it not? Oh, there we go. Screaming banshee with bogey legs. Good hair, though. I uh, haven't got the hair. Eric Oswald, the lower half, half makes her look like she's coming out of the water, which is why I went with Moaning Merle. And when I think of a banshee, I always think of Darby O'Gill and the little people. Anyone remember that Disney film? It's on Disney+. Plus. Uh, Bevis Musson says, uh, Bevis Musson, the sensei. Uncle Strawberry, the Moaning Minnie, the Mouse there, the Lego Whisperer. She says, a film where Emma's accents would be right at home. <laughs> it, it's almost as if people think I can't do accents, isn't it? Isn't, isn't it? It's almost as if... What? Uh, Emma can't do accents? What? What? Emma does accents really, really badly. Sorry, excuse me. What are you talking about? Yes, all right, that'll do. Thank you. That will do. Thank you. You at the back. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Eric Oswald says, uh, perhaps Justin Ramson might know something about the colourful Star Wars employee-only build that you mentioned today. Perhaps he might be able to somehow get that Christmas X-Wing for you. He asked, oh, so innocently. <gasps> Here comes Justin Ramston, Justin Ramston, Justin Ramston. Uh, the festive X-Wing, says the Justin Ramston. Uh, that was an employee-only Christmas gift, I'm, a pra I'm afraid. Uh, that was Justin Ramston. Justin Ramston. John Perry. No, we, we, we can't change the Dame Dawn theme tune. Please, no. Well, that, it, this is a, her request. It's, it's, a, it's a creative challenge that has been thrown down uh, by dear Dame Dawn. Um, but we won't get rid of the Dame Dawn uh, theme. We can, we, can, we can rotate them. It, it could be like a surprise as to which one you're going to get on any given day. Uh, so don't worry, I won't, be, I won't be getting rid of the Dame Dawn theme tune. Good God, no. Good God, no. Good God, no, sir. Um, but um, the, challenge, the, challenge is the, the challenge remains. The challenge is down. If you want to be in the rotating theme tune, uh, then then crack on and send in send in your own version. It doesn't it, it doesn't have to be the same. Th in fact, actually, it shouldn't be the same theme tune as the existing theme tune. It should be one of entirely your own creation. By the way, we're loving this, aren't we? Uh, little Sue says, oh, that, that, that's, uh, I feel the same way about the Dame Dawn theme tune and, and I don't want it to not be the Dame Dawn theme tune. Yes, but it won't not be the Dame Dawn theme tune because the Dame Dawn theme tune Will, will still very much be with us. Um, it's just, you know, we can have a rotating theme tune like, like we have, like we're currently having for the old Noel. Just keeps things fresh. That's all. Just if you want to. I mean, you know, people don't have to. If no one sends one in, then no one sends one, one in. But uh, the, the challenge has been issued by the Dame, by the Dame Dawn. Um, 
and if anyone wishes to accept it then accept away i think that's i think that's the current mood oh hang on look this is going in here yes. oh 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 look that's going up there that's going in there we're definitely going to be doing another bag by the way this is lovely oh this is lovely isn't this lovely suddenly uh, Bevis Musson, I can't work out what the little pink tile the minifig is holding is, is meant to be. You have to remember this. Maybe it's a handkerchief. Maybe he's got a runny nose. Uh, if it were red, I'd assume it was a red envelope, which is used to give gifts at Chinese New Year, which obviously, uh, but obviously it's, it's, it's the wrong colour. Mm. Mm. Um, moving the step was absolutely 100% uh, the right thing to do, says Bevis. I think early on it was holding a couple of the base plates together, but it's not now, so it's all good. Yeah, the, the John Perry does not agree. He's, he's, uh, he, give, he gives a shaking head gif, um, but there it is. Uh, Bevis Musson says, yes, we're rebels here on RWB. Sometimes uh, we just take the instructions as suggestions and do what we like. Knuckles could swap the hair of all the minifigs if she wanted to, and it would be perfectly okay. Mm, I don't know if I agree with that one. I don't know. We haven't got their permission, Bevis. Um, it, it's one thing to have, have you request that your hair is changed on a constant near basis, and that, lest we forget you have currently got a real-life beehive, uh, still magnificent uh, after all these weeks. Um, but the, 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 the professional minifigs, as we like to call them, they, they, they do not have a say in these things. And uh, I think we need to respect uh, their wishes at all times. Um, there's giffing. There's just giffing. Uh, um, uh, yes, it'll see. I, d I did enjoy your, your explanation of alive and begging. You you did you did very well to describe what goes on on a monthly basis, uh, but live and break, breaking is always a whole heap of 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 fun, and we always all end up exhausted. Uh, join in, join in one and all. You 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 won't uh, in brackets. You, you might regret it. That's, that's what I have to say about live and breaking. I'm a buzzer bottle. Thank you. Uh, Tanya now dressed says, says, uh, uh, says, I have to watch it stone cold sober, 7am <laughs> Sunday morning. <laughs> and usually right before leaving for work. <laughs> uh, alive and bricking. We, we, we are, we, we're, we're not far off the next live and bricking, of course. Uh, live and bricking. Live and bricking. I've been breaking with Emma Kennedy. But that, that's Eric's uh, theme tune for Live and Bricking. Which we always enjoy uh, singing. And we always enjoy when we have the reprise, the, re the, the reprise at the end of uh, the next song in my iTunes library uh, coming in without fail. Um, gang, I've got excitements to share with you we're, we're, we're cracking on we're going to do bag seven hold on where's she ho um <clears throat> neil says uh, these minifigs are coming thick and fast and the song doesn't really work but is it time for mandy and sue's minifigure magic today hashtag minifigure envy um yes here we go here we go um when you look at him, he's he's rather super. Of course, we we've got a we we have a an Afawak who looks who looks strikingly similar uh, uh, here. But um, but this is the uh, the original uh, the original Roman gladiator. He is magnificent, isn't he? Um, I think he's called um, uh, Tony. He's called Tony. It's called Tony. Tony the Roman Gladiator. Uh, Faye says, thank you, Mother Goose. No, uh, my pleasure, Faye. My pleasure, Faye. We love having you. We love having you. And that's that. Right, here we I think we are about to start making a dragon. So uh, get ready for excitements. The, the, the magic is finally coming here. 
Uh, Eric says, I love the sun making the red doors on this build uh, grow, uh, grow, glow brightly. Yeah, it's, look, look, if I just move that into that beam, it's lovely, isn't it? Absolutely lovely. Really nice. Uh, scrub down, scrub down. It's Jackie Swan. Uh, she says, I, I, I would be sad to lose Dame Dawn's theme tune. Um, could there be an occasional guest theme? Yes, I think that is entirely what is being proposed here. Uh, there's absolutely no way we're getting rid of, of Dame Dawn's theme tune. Um, so don't worry on that score. This will be like, you know, rolling, ro rolling different themes. I think that's fun um, because, it, because I really cannot overemphasize this enough. I don't think what the, the, this creative challenge is looking for here is just someone singing the current theme. This is somebody, uh, this, 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 this creative challenge is, is to come up with, with something entirely new. So crack on, enjoy yourself, knock, 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 knock yourselves out. Knock it out the park, gang. Uh, Neil says, here, 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 here. Yeah, I mean, everybody loves, look, everybody, everybody here loves and adores and cherishes the national treasure that is our very own Dame Dawn. Come on, come on, come on, Dame Dawn. Come on, come on. Yes, we love you. We love you. Lo we love you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, we love you a bit more. So you just go and stand over there and just be, you just be brilliant. Yeah, I'll be brilliant. Yeah, you be brilliant over there. Uh, you'd be absolutely super. Um, I've knocked out for the parrot. Hang on, please. I'm just using tweezers to... Oh, no. Oh, no, the parrot. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, good grief. No, thank you. By the way, we had a terrible incident this morning in the garden. I think I started telling you, uh, but I didn't tell you the full horror of what occurred. Well, basically, we've got, we, we, we've, we've got a, a chum who's a blackbird, little lady blackbird who hops around our lawn uh, all the time and she has built herself a little nest under us under the cistus the big bush that's in front of the tree and uh, I've got sad news here so uh, brace yourself if you are of a nervous disposition um, but um, we found her dead on the lawn uh, this morning and we think a magpie uh, has come in and found the nest because she's you know, they've had the eggs as well. Um, it's really sad, really sad. So we, we gave her a good send off. Poor little thing. But honestly, she's been bouncing about on our lawn for years and years and years. And we loved her so, but alas, a magpie has taken her from us. Um... Neil says, uh, firstly, huge congratulations on uh, Mel Jo, uh, Brit Melis, on her win. Uh, hashtag Apple works forever. Secondly, if there is a choice to be had, I'd enjoy the Dawn French theme to remain or at least be rotated along with other contributions from Apple works. Uh, hashtag if it's not broken, don't fix it. Yes, 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 yes. This, we are, there is no, there's not a chance in God's green earth are we actually replacing the theme tune of uh, our beloved Dame Dawn. No, no way, no how. No way, no how. Um, as you say, it's it's a rotating guest, guest slot. So that's the situation. I think we all understand it now. Ruth Hayes says, yes, that's a brilliant idea, Neil. Uh, Ruth Hayes, uh, Mother Goose, please could I request that you do not wash, I repeat, do not wash my Aaron sweater. I mean, I've I've brought nothing else with me. Uh, thank you kindly. Yeah, it'll never be done. Uh, Neil, this is how uh, Big Hand, Little Hand all started. Big Hand? Little Hand? <laughs> yes, this one's been in the wash. This one hasn't. Filthy Hand? Clean Hand? Thank you. Uh, which does remind me, uh, could we have a round of mince or mince, mince or mince? Yes, this is another game we play on uh, Live and Breaking is mince or mince, but without further ado... Is it mince or is it mince? Is it mince or is it mince? Are you ready? Is it mince or is it mince? Mince or mince? Here we go. 
mince. Oh, mince. Was it mince? Or was it mince? Was it mince? Or was it mince? It was mince, the sweet and then the savoury mince. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I'm a bit lost. Hang on. Don't be lost, Emma. Come on. Thank you. Um, Telling our dress to uh, says a plain Tim Tam is very much like a p -p 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 pick up a penguin uh, biscuit. Uh, maybe a bit wider, but not as thick. But the trouble is the Tim Tams come in a pack all lined up unwrapped. So you open the packet and poof, they're gone. Uh, they do lots of different flavours, but I like the original. Oh my gosh, can you imagine? Because penguins come in a pack as well. Can you imagine if penguins were not in their wrappers? I mean, that would be the end of you, wouldn't it? It would be, I mean, there would be no chance of not eating every single one in the packet uh, there and then. Whereas actually penguins that come in a packet, I, I, I mean, I don't know how, how you feel, but I feel very good. At, I mean, have you ever, actually, now I come to think of it, have you ever seen someone eat two penguins in one go? I've never seen that happen. I'm really thinking hard now. I've never seen that. I think it's something that doesn't happen in our world. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, please. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but that, that feels like something that doesn't happen in our world, uh, in the Northern Hemisphere, with the pet, with the pepper, 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 penguins. Pick up a penguin if you feel a bit peckish. Pick up a pick up a penguin. I used to love that. I used to love that advert. If you feel a bit of a peckish, pick up a pick up a penguin. A pick up a penguin. Thank you. Um. Then hang on a minute. Uh, uh, she says, oh yes, Gillian, I love Whitaker's chocolate. The chunky milk chocolate or the artisan ones, especially the salted caramel are my favourites. Best chocolate ever. Yum. Bevis Musson says, I, I was introduced to the concept of the Tim Tam explosion uh, many years ago and it remains one of the greatest things in my life. Sorry, what? What? What is the Tim Tam explosion? A town now dressed to uh, says Tim Tams and Whitaker's at the supermarket this morning. Oh, crumbs. At this well I never well I never good grief crikey that's a lot of chocolate uh, Jackie Swan uh, uh, scrub down scrub down uh, she says hashtag uh, you said you said on the job uh, boy yes thank you uh, Taylor now just says, uh, uh, says thank you for straightening up that step Emma honestly the relief uh, Trevor Poulter, Trevor Poulter, uh, Mother Goose, to save you from pronouncing umni um, the umni um symbol is actually the symbol for diameter, i.e. the width of a circle. Uh, sorry, it's the engineering. Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? I mean, finally, finally, we understand that it means uh, diameter. Uh, grumpy Bark, uh, so it should actually, says yes, this is correct. So it should actually be pronounced umni um for dim, for dumb. Wah wah. What a wag. Everyone, everyone's a comedian. Have you, have you noticed? Everybody is a comedian these days. Absolutely everybody. I'm, I'm, I fear I'm not paying attention here. And you know where that leads? Into a mountain of trouble. That's where. Um, hang on. I'm, I'm just doing a little bit of tethering, gang. I'm just doing a little bit of tethering. Minor tethering here, please. What's going there? That there. Minor tethering. Minor, minor, minor tethering. Okay, I'm tethered. I'm, I've re-tethered. Re-tethered myself. Um, little Sue. Uh, Emma. Yes? Uh, I just wanted to say that I quite like the um, um and, and long, long may it continue, please. I, I like it, um, um, um. Yes, I, th I think um, um is, 
is 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 a pretty good it's a pretty good way of describing it but now we know it means diameter so uh, no one can be confused no, no nobody could be, ever be confused on, on relax with dicks because everything is uh, so very straightforward Pre press the boing button i, I boinged you real bad now press the button uh Jackie, Jackie Swan uh, says, <coughs> finger pointing. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I pointed at something with my finger, which, as we know, is not allowed. Uh, Mike, formerly known as Toby Moore, J. Giggard, the wrong email, says the illegality of it all. Uh, Bevis, Knuckles could well find herself locked up in the wig store tomorrow if Mr. Emperor of the Var notices. I mean, woo. I'm, I'm still yet to see whether I've got away with this. But, uh, yes, I did point at something with my finger, which is forbidden. Uh, in the land of relax with bricks, it is one of the very, uh, the very many bylaws uh, that have appeared over the years. Not allowed to point with finger. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I mean, you never know. I might just get a caution. She says, hopefully. She said, "Ooh, ooh, guess who's lost? Guess who's lost?" And doesn't know what bitches are. Uh -uh. Okay, I'm here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is starting to shape up nicely, isn't it? Um, uh, twit woo, Ellen Harwood. He oh, reminds me of the comments are turned off on the YouTube. That's that's happened two days in a row now. What's going on? But double check it. Uh, TV uh, Z123 uh, says, I I vote for the Sue Perkins surprise. I hope it isn't half baked, says TV Z. One, two, three. One, two, three. Tanya now dresses. Oh. Oh. Tanya now dresses. Uh, okay. Scrub, 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 scrub the you can guess. Scrub the you can guess. Scrub it. I'm scrubbing it. Says, didn't you show it to us a while back? It's a Batman set. Shh, just be quiet. Okay, scrub the competition. Scrub it. Scrub it. Just scrub it. Scrub it. Yeah, little C. Yes, that's what I thought too. Daniel now. Okay, I've forgotten I'd shown it to you. Okay, that's it. Scrubbed. Competition is scrubbed. Scrubbed. It's scrubbed. Thank you. It's scrubbed. Thank you. Competition scrubbed. Thank you. Competition has been scrubbed. Thank you. Thank you. Um... I see. So we're also doing this on here. Hang on. Hold up. Hold up. There was me thinking we had a competition on our hands and we did not have a competition on our hands. Sorry about that. Um, oh, John Perry has even posted a picture of it. Well, I'm not. I'm not going to show the picture or say the name of the set, so that for those who've forgotten, we'll have a uh, we'll have a, a, a surprise. Um, Mike, formerly known as Toby Mori, Jake uh, says, uh, my guess is the uh, for the pink square that Daniel is holding is a sponge, as he also has the bucket of water, and I think he's cleaning up, much like Shirley, and her shovel. Mm. Yes, that's probably not a bad idea. Uh, Mike says, also loving that Daniel has red envelopes known, uh, known as hang, hong, bao, hong Bao in his knitted waistcoat or, if you're American, uh, sweater vest pockets, as these would traditionally be given to friends and family at Lunar New Year and they contain money but never an amount with the number four in them as the pronunciation of four in Chinese is similar to the word death. The envelopes are always red as the colour symbolises good luck and prosperity. I see you all are always learning things here on the Relax with the Bricks. Uh, right, we're off to the Google Eyes. Google Eyes. Do do be do be do. Google Eyes. Do be do be do. Um, hang on. Oh, yes, I think this is right. Okay. Uh, we 
thought she was from Canada and then we didn't think she was from Canada and then it turned out she was from Canada. It's just uh, William B. Just maybe I've got a theory uh, about the, sh the shark guy. Uh, maybe people sing Baby Shark to him everywhere he goes. And he's now fuming. Uh, poor Noreen. Uh, that was a hard... Hang on, this was yesterday's. Stop it. Stop it, that was yesterday's. That was yesterday's. That was that was, that was yesterday. Right, here we go. Thank you. So, sorry, Gillian B. Gee whiz. I, gee whiz. I, I, thought, I thought I was having a moment. Well, uh, it was me that was having a moment. Apologies. Apologies for that, madam. Apologies. TVZ. One, two, three. One, two, three. It says, a Tim Tam is sort of like a penguin. But where a penguin might be a solid 9 out of 10, a Tim Tam is an 11 out of 10, which I again say with no bias whatsoever. A P.S. the shaft of sunlight, I said shaft, streaming through the build windows and shining on the haunted table was a very pleasant vignette accompanying your dulcet introductory tones, Mother Goose, even though... It was accidental. No, we, 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 we love building in the morning here at the haunted table for precisely this reason. Um, that we get the lovely sunshine through the window, which is just, it's just lovely and relaxed. It's just relaxing, isn't it? It's just nice to look at, for heaven's sake. Um, Eric Oswald, the Chieftains, I love them. Took my parents to see them perform at the Hollywood Bowl back in the 80s. Uh, first time I ever saw step dancing as they had the Irish National Step Dancing Champs, male and female, uh, during a couple of the songs. They were fantastic. Um, is it step dancing or is it Irish dancing? Ste step dancing, I thought, was is, is what they do at, at barn dances. Um, someone will tell me. Someone will tell me. Uh TV said one, two, three, huzzah, that offset step was giving me the irrits. I'm loving the word irrits. Uh, Eric, now, see, once I had learned that was Dame Dawn singing the RWB theme tune, I wasn't about to attempt a new theme, but since she's saying it's okay, mm, come on, Eric, come on, Eric, come on, you'll be, br come on, we, we need one of yours, come on. Get involved is a creative challenge as laid down by the dame herself. Uh, get involved. Get involved. Uh, Noreen. 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 She says, so I bought the police station in San Route and the friend's central perk set. Don't tell my sister. She'll have a fit. Mind you, she buys loads of books and wine and I don't read it like her wine yes there we go i mean you don't have to ex you don't have to apologize for enjoying your hobby that's for sure uh janet pendlebury uh says uh don't move it it looks even odder now oh, i'm sorry janet pendlebury so this is the problem you can't you can't please everyone it can never be done it's it's an impossibility here at relax with bricks you can you can please half the people and then there'll be people who are fuming about it but, you know, oops, whoops, whoops, there we go, there we go. Look, that's going in there. Oh, this is rather good, isn't it? Oh, this, that must be a back leg, and it's articulated. Oh, crumbs, this is, do you think this is Nian? I think we're making another one, though, you know. Uh, at which point, <coughs> this is a perfect point for you to come in. <laughs> <laughs> Dolly Neptune, who or what is Nian? Where have you been? We've been discussing this. What? Where have you been? It's none of business. Have you been inside again? Shh, shh, be quiet. Just be quiet. It's the dragon. Nian's a dragon. You're right. You're right. Yeah, I mean, no, I can't because as I spoke, you're not the devil. Go away. No one's going to love the devil. None. None. Uh, Gillian B says, oh, it's a, a dragon whom we will meet later. Boo-boo. 
Woo! A dragon! Woohoo! A TVZ123. And I wonder if they've got a prodigious chest. Oh, that's a good boing. That concludes the business of club. Right. Okie pokey. I think we've got enough time to finish this set today. So it's uh, all steam ahead now. All steam ahead. There's one more bag. But I think we can. I think we can do it. It's not a big bag, and it's certainly not a bag that will that will um, last us tomorrow. And we've never we've never done a crossover build, have we? Where we where we've done one finish one build and then and then started a, a different build on the same day. No, that's surely against the law. I think that's. I genuinely think it's against the law. I'm not sure. But it feels like it, doesn't it? Pippin's furious, absolutely furious. Molly is uh, at the at, at the uh, um, vets today, having a little operation on her teeth. Um, the scenes this morning. I mean, you can imagine, can't you? The scenes from Pippin. I've never heard howling like it when Molly left her behind. Never heard anything like it. Oh my goodness me, the cuddles she had to be given. Crumbs alive. There we go. Now, this. Anyway, we will be getting her back today, so. this going from there oh look I mean this is very good isn't it that's clearly gosh I didn't expect it to be like this this is very different from our uh, our other little dragons that we did on a previous occasion no Found that way. Let's get it right. Yep. Oops. It's a bit winky wonky there. I said winky wonky. Lovely little niblets. Lovely little niblets. Oops. How fab, look, it's all coming together.
lots of little tiny in intricate bits in this, isn't there? It doesn't want to sit down, no it does. Yes, I've realised the last bag is going to be its head. So we are definitely doing this. Uh, apologies now if we go a little bit over time. But I think... It's going to be worth it. Oh, look at this. This is rather good, isn't it? Stands up. Look at that. Right, we're making its tail, and then we're going to do the head. nice little touch oh it's this end it's this end I put all the legs on the wrong way round <laughs> hang on anyway because I've got to get I've got to get the stuff out for the head <laughs> I put all the head all the legs are on the wrong way round thank you classic hammer thank you okay I fixed it Right, here we go. Let's uh, get the let's get this fella finished. Here we go. Right. Making two of these. Lots of little bits. Uh, on this, but um, I think we'll be all right. Might go a little bit over, as I said, but I don't think anyone here wants me to leave this without putting the head on. And that literally is all that's left to do. So now, oh, what's this? Oh, lovely! That goes on there. Oh, that's lovely. Okay, here we go. Head time. of bits that are going into this one head is quite extraordinary actually.
close that. like that. A little bit of Technics. That goes there. Yep. It's coming, isn't it? You can see it. Concentrating, I get the feeling that if one thing's out of place here, you're done for. Is that right? No, it's not quite on. Mm, maybe it is. Yep. Blue bananas. <coughs> Haven't had blue bananas before, have we? Here come the eyes. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous.
everything's yeah it's not too bad it's not quite down is it no it is no it is is brilliant. This is absolutely wonderful. these lovely little things whiskers golden whiskers ah oh, isn't this brilliant absolutely lovely oh he's fabulous or is it a she is Nian a she or a he to go now. Bum, bum, bum. Hair streaming. That's lovely. That's lovely. I love that. these whiskers do we think or lower jaw might be lower jaw yes it is that is brilliant brilliant oh look look and it moves Oh, that's absolutely fabulous, right. Oh, there we go. I was a bit worried about that, but it got in. Look at that. That's extraordinary. Absolutely fabulous. I do believe that's it. We're at the end. Uh, yes, we are. Uh, so there it is. Let's bring our little characters in. Let's populate the set. Uh, so we get the full mood. There's all what's his face. Let's get him his bucket. I think there we are. Uh, shovel. Keeping an eye on this one, no doubt. Uh, tin, tin, tin. Oh, whoopsie. Sorry, Kevin. There we go. There. Uh, and there we have it. I almost fell over. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, and there we have it. Story of Nian completed. Um, that actually turned out to be a lovely set in the end. Uh, I think. Uh, uh, I, I think once you, if you do it in one go, that that is a really nice set. So I'm going to give that a. Um, uh, I'm giving that an eight out of ten. No, actually, that might be too generous. I'm giving I'm giving it a seven point five out of ten. But that, that that is a that turned out to be very nice and very pleasant. 
uh, but it all came together in the end in the final bags. Anyway, uh, right, Rio. Yes, I'm ready to come from the cloud and I'm ready to cross the fourth to the new the bleachers. Yes, super. Uh, so off you go, Rio. Uh, thank you for being on the cloud. Thank you for being a goose. Thank you. Uh, off you go. So I'm crusting forth, crusting, crusting, crusting. And there he is. He's on the new bleachers. Come back tomorrow. New build day. Afworks forever. Bye-bye.